Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jen and I'm delighted to meet you. Otherwise, if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I would love to invite you to my messy kitchen today. <laughs> the reason it's so messy is I just finished a whole week's worth of mostly carnivore diet meal prep. I've been meal prepping lately because it's been really the only thing that I've been finding that I'm able to stick to having myself in a calorie restriction but still feeling, you know, feeding myself nutrient dense foods and not overeating by making decisions in the moment that I'm too hungry and I need extra food. So the meal prepping has been a lifesaver for me. So I'd like to just try a few times making videos about it, see if it helps you guys and also something for me to look back at later. Um, and so this is how it went this week. For the mornings, I made breakfast burritos using egg life wraps instead of tortillas. I spooned scrambled eggs onto each wrap, then added a piece of cheddar cheese and one slice of bacon. Fun fact, my very first job was at Taco Bell, so I would consider myself an expert burrito wrapper. I was hoping to showcase my skills, but these burritos are much too full. Oh well, they're still going to be delicious. Each burrito has 350 calories, 28 grams of protein, 1 gram of carbs, and 25 grams of fat. For lunch, I'm actually going to have brisket jerky. Maybe that seems weird to you, but I am going to love it. I measured out three ounces for each day, which would have been about six ounces of brisket before it was dehydrated. I know it doesn't seem like much, and believe me, I wish it was more, but it should be enough to get me by. Each serving has 39 grams of protein, zero carbs, and 44 grams of fat. I have a full video about exactly how I made this jerky, but a quick synopsis is that I used brisket because I like it nice and fatty, and I cut it myself with a meat cutter that I purchased from Amazon. I seasoned it with nothing but my favorite salt, and I dehydrated it in my new London Sunshine Dehydrator, which I love so much because it's easy to use, it has trays made of stainless steel instead of plastic, and it's remarkably easy to clean. For my dinner meal, I made beef short ribs on the stove in my Dutch oven. I measured out five ounces of beef for each serving and then I added back some of the delicious juice that it was cooked in. These short ribs have 31 grams of protein, zero carbs, and 60 grams of fat. Here's exactly how I made them. I took two packages of short ribs that I got when I recently purchased half a cow and put them into my Dutch oven. I love this beautiful pot. It's ceramic coated cast iron and I got it from Amazon. Normally, I'd fill the pot with broth that I already had on hand, but I didn't have any today, so I decided to try something new. I recently got these bone broth cups from Power Provisions, and they do have some veggies for seasoning, but other than that, they're a great fit for a carnivore meal. All you have to do is add boiling water to the contents of the cup, but since I was using this for cooking, I didn't even bother to boil the water first. It'll boil in the pot. And because of the seasoning, I'm not going to bother seasoning my meat. It saves me tons of steps. I want to nearly cover my meat, so I need one more bone broth cup to do that. This time, for your sake, I decided to follow the instructions and boil the water first so you can see what it's actually supposed to look like. I'll be honest, I snuck a little taste and it's really delicious. I would recommend it for cooking or for sipping. I love this meal because it's so simple. Once everything is put together, all you have to do is let it simmer until it's fork tender. After about two hours, I flipped my meat over and you can see it's starting to pull away from the bones, but it isn't fork tender yet. After about four and a half hours, it was ready to go. This is absolutely one of the easiest and most forgiving ways to cook meat. So my Dutch oven gets a lot of use. What you see here is six days worth of mostly carnivore meals. It's a lot of work to do all this in one day, but it keeps me on track toward my goals, so it's absolutely worth it. In addition to the food that you saw me prep, I will also be starting each day with my homemade multivitamin and ending each day with a cup of raw milk. Each day ends up being right around 1800 calories, which is what I'm shooting for in order to lose weight. Now, if you're thinking that this does not seem like much food for one day, I hear you and I agree. I usually finish a meal wanting more food. Not that I'm starving or super hungry or, you know, I'm mostly satisfied, but I just want more food. I, I just, I have a big appetite and it takes a lot to satisfy me. But this has been working because it's something that I plan ahead using my rational mind in the moment when I'm not trying to scarf it all down. Like right now, I'm just focused on hitting about 1800 calories a day. And this week, my fat content is a little bit higher than normal just because lately protein's been a bit higher, fat's been a little lower, and it's making my poops a little bit constipated. So I'm increasing fat a bit this week on purpose. But because I'm able to, again, rationally think in this moment with my higher brain right now, 
in preparation for the week, it keeps me from making any last minute impulse decisions during the week when I don't maybe use the best part of my brain to make those decisions. So I know this is helping me a ton. I hope it's helping you too. I'd love to know in the comments what you think, if you have any advice, any suggestions, any questions, any of that. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and catch me on Instagram where we can connect every day.